than you've seen in Two Girls, One Cup. <laughs> Scott Corcoran, everybody. I'm actually going to do a clean set tonight. That's, that sounds like a challenge. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm actually a pretty artistic guy. And... In 1956, there was an author, William S. Burroughs, wrote a, wrote a uh, novel called Naked Lunch. And he said that at the time he wrote Naked Lunch, writing was 50 years behind painting because it had not used the cut-up technique, the collage technique, which you're probably all familiar with from art school, that uh, was actually 50 years old at that time, pretty old hat. In, uh, hey, and so at that time, the 1950s, when Burroughs was writing, writing 50 years behind painting. Well, no one has used this technique for comedy. So comedy is 100 years behind painting, which was 50 years behind writing until Burroughs, until today. Today, I have cut up a bunch of jokes, premises, setups, <laughs> and punchlines. <laughs> and now I'll show you how this works. There are 24 of each, so that's over 4,000 virtual jokes. So I could keep going on forever. Now I'll start, I did not write all of these jokes, some of these are what we comedians, we professional comedians call street jokes. I have this one right here. I have already cut it up. I'm going to read it back to you, then I'm going to mix it in. Your mother is so fat, into the premise, that when she goes to the harbor, set up, not even the tugboat's whistle. Hilarious. Now let me, uh, is that? Now, would someone like to come up and draw a joke? <laughs> well, DJ, come on up. <laughs> the premise. The setup. And the punchline. A Republican walks into a men's, into an airport men's room. Then the man orders a beer, and a beer and a shot glass for the leprechaun. <laughs> and she served more spicy cock than Popeye's fried chicken. <laughs> Would you like to come up and draw a joke, please? Come on, call on up. <laughs> the premise. A priest and a football coach come into a child. <laughs> the setup, and the man asks the prostitute, how much to crap in my mouth? <laughs> and the punchline, and she poured herself a cup of sit down and shut the fuck up. <laughs> Blair, would you like to come up and tuck a joke out? Come on. <laughs> Your mother is so old that when she goes down to the harbor, John Leguizamo. <laughs> so come on up here and get a joke. The premise. Two eggs and sausage in a pan. Yes, that looks like a pile of shit, that smells like a pile of shit, and that tastes like a pile of shit. John Leguizamo. <laughs> Would someone else like to come out and come on up and have a joke? The premise. A man and a penguin walk into a bar. The setup. And the priest says, Why don't you eat ham? Because it's against my religion, says the rabbi. Well, why don't you eat 
have sex, asks the rabbi. Well, that's against my religion, says the priest, and the punchline. And they found dead canaries in her cunt. <laughs> it's a very dirty joke you picked out, ma'am. <laughs> Would someone in the bar like to come out and pick out a joke? Would you like to pick out a joke, sir? Anyone in the bar? Here we go. Come on up. The premise. A goat has its head caught in a fence. Waiter, do you serve crabs here? Niggers! You, sir, have picked out a very racist joke. <laughs> That's just terrible. Come on out and have another joke. Terrible. <laughs> Two rednecks walk up to a pile of shit. I think we have the setup for that one already. And the one lesbian says to the other lesbian, Why do you dress like Johnny Cash? <laughs> Fuck you and your mom's diseased cunt. Yeah! <laughs> but someone else like, come up and have another joke. Come on up, sir. <laughs> the premise. Two lesbians go to a hotel. The setup. And they've all heard each other's jokes so many times that they just say the number that corresponds to the joke. And the punchline. Jews! Uh, I've got one of Chris uh, Davis's jokes mixed up in here. <laughs> Blair, come on up and have another joke, sir. The premise. A black guy, a white guy, and an Indian are in a balloon. The setup. And the leprechaun says, I'll give you three witches if you let me fuck you in the ass. And the punchline. John Leguizamo. <laughs> Boy, DJ, come on. <laughs> Two cows in a field. And the patient walks into the therapy session without any pants on. That's Barbara Bush's syphilitic vagina. <laughs> Someone like another joke. Sir, would you like to pick out a joke? Mr. Mr. Mullet. <laughs> You're not even paying attention to me. <laughs> hey, come on. We're we going to stop this up. DJ, come on up and have, have another joke, sir. we gotta, we got we to tell them all. A dying man asks his wife. And the man asks a prostitute, is that your monkey? <laughs> And two pounds of pudding fell out of your mom's mistake hole. <laughs> ma'am, would you like to pick out a joke before you leave? Oh, come on over here, ma'am, please. Yes, try to see, see if there's something in here funny. It's up to you to pick out the funny one. Here's the premise. You want to write one? Go ahead. There's the premise right there. We we'll start with that. No, I want to draw for you. Here, you mix them up. Oh, wow. Well. Two kinds of cheese on the cheeseburger there. Yes. <laughs> Your mother goes to the bank. The teller says, "What? We have to pick up the next." Oh yeah. <laughs> And you might as well wine and dine me and roof me me first. <laughs> Fred walks into the psychiatrist's office. See, that's why we have to do these in order. Because it's such a really premise, setup, and punchline is the way the joke works. Would you like to try one in order, in order man? Try, try. This is the premise. You start with this. This is the start. Oh, so you're mixing it up again. Just to... Premise, setup, punchline. Yes. There we go. <laughs> the premise. A priest and a rabbi were discussing religion. The setup. When your mom goes to the graveyard, hey, that's my vagina. 
<laughs> DJ Dad, would you like to come up and have a joke? <laughs> All right. The premise. Two gay Nazis walk into a bar. And the man asks the prostitute, how much to fuck me, the midget, and the monkey? That's Lady Gaga's hermaphroditic penis. <laughs> oh, we wanted you. Oh, come on up here and have one. The premise. A man goes up to a prostitute. A very solid premise. <laughs> The balloon develops a big leak, and there's only two parachutes, so it is Gus who deserves to live more. <laughs> and the man asks the prostitute, is that your monkey? <laughs> so anybody wants to come up and come on, we're going to keep doing it until we, until we run out of jokes, or uh, I run out of time, one or the other. <laughs> a patient goes to the doctor. And the man tells the prostitute he wants a half and half, a blumpkin, and around the world. And the teacher said, a ruler has 12 inches. Blair, the premise. A man goes to the rabbi, the setup. And I'm mean Joe Green. I'm all pro badass and I don't take any shit off any cracker. <laughs> Niggers. <laughs> Again, Blair with the racist humor. Blair? <laughs> you're fucking racist. You're, I never knew you were fucking racist. A man and a leprechaun walk into a bar. And the man asks the prostitute, is the cheese spread extra? Patton Oswald in Ewok footy pajamas. The premise. One day, a man came home and was greeted by his wife dressed in a very sexy negligee. Hey, Bruce, I think I'm pregnant. Who's the father, Bruce? It's still a joke. John Obama. And not even the tugboat's whistle. <laughs> DJ! The premise. A naked man walks into a bar with a duck. And the man asks the prostitute, have you ever blown an albino before? And the prostitute says, it'll be double for that. That makes too much sense. You're fucking dull, DJ. Makes too much damn sense. Well, I think we ran out of like Lazamos. I don't think I had more than three. A lesbian and Patton Oswalt come into a bar. We've had the punchline for that already. And the man asks the prostitute, can you do me and my mother? The wiener practically sucks itself. <laughs> Another joke! <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> the premise. Two gay guys walking down the road. The setup. I'll have a shot of whiskey and a bowl of ice for my penguin to sit on. And the bath on. Hey, that's my asshole! Yeah! DJ, I have another joke. Don't be so dull this time. Yes. Something a little more surrealistic, DJ. <laughs> this comedian is raping a monkey. <laughs> And Jimmy Swagger asks the prostitute, how much for your daughter to watch while I masturbate? 
And the punchline, fuck her, I don't even know her. <laughs> Another joke, come on, sir. The premise. Your mother's so dead. <laughs> My little yellow dog is the meanest dog in the world. And little Billy died of AIDS. <laughs> Poor little Billy. But with the proper premises set up. Hilarious. <laughs> DJ! A guy walks into a bar with his dog. The setup. And the prostitute says, it'll be double for that. I think that's a punchline. And Lady Gaga's hermaphrodite penis ass baby. <laughs> All right, I think we've run this premise out. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of characters and get off. Uh, uh, first one, I've, I've, been doing, I've been doing this one uh, a couple of times. Porn Yoda. Porn Yoda. On her face she comes. Porn Yoda. Ass to mouth it is. Porn Yoda. Mmm, younglings. Porn Yoda. I find a terrible disturbance in my pants. Porn Yoda. Luke, who's your daddy? Porn Yoda. And now I'm going to do one more uh, Muppet character, a uh, Porn Kermit. This is a shorter one. Porn Kermit. <laughs> and now another character, a uh, zombie hooker pound. Cold holes, got gotcha, you cold holes. Zombie hooker pound. <laughs> my premises are falling all over the place. <laughs> Drag your feet down the concrete and get me my brains. Zombie hooker pound. <laughs> For your convenience, our hookers come pre-murdered. Put a dead hooker in your trunk. Now at attractive rates. Try a zombie hooker. It's a no-brainer. I'm King Spoet. Good night. Everybody give it up one more time for King Spoet. I like how he said he had a clean set, and then I heard the N word twice. Cunts, assholes, and tons of prostitutes. I didn't that. I didn't that. I didn't that clean set. <laughs> too much John Leguizamo. <laughs> Way too many John Leguizamos. Yes. So, um, did you guys know that if you play certain records backwards, you hear him say stuff like, praise Satan. But if you play that same record the normal way, you'll hear really shitty, outdated music. 